about 2,500 square feet. Let's go take a peek. So there's your garage. Here's your main door. I assume this is kind of like a little sitting area. If they put a closet in here, it could be a bedroom. So here's a closet. Boy, the birds are really talking. There's the stairs. Looks like another closet. Probably bathroom. stages is where they put in things like your plumbing rough, your heating and air conditioning, and your electrical wiring. All right, good morning everybody. So on this one, I gotta admit, I'm a little behind the curve. You know, I haven't been keeping up on everything that's been going on with this particular case, incident, whatever it is you want to call it. I've been, you know, in my own little world here. But before I begin, I just want to go into something. I'm a construction worker. I'm an electrician. <clears throat> Most of the work that I do is in the downtown Seattle area. And if the job is not in a high rise building, and I'm on the ground, you know, or um, if it's if the building that I'm working in is brand new construction, you know, on the ground level, there's usually nine times out of ten, the job is going to be fenced off. Well, yeah, most of the time the job is going to be fenced off unless it's going to be in these two instances that I'm going to describe here. And if it's not fenced off, all right, well, okay, let me just break this down. So a couple of years ago, I was doing a job in uh, downtown Seattle near um, uh, Pikes Peak, Pikes Pier, Pier 57, I think it is. Uh, anyway, there was a lot of fence around the job, but there was part of the job that was, you know, um, public sidewalk or it was right off of the public sidewalk. And in other words, what people wanted to do, there was an area where you needed, if you wanted to cross the street, how did that, I'm just trying to think, how did that work exactly? Anyway, long story short, there's signs all over the place, you know, don't walk past here or you know don't walk past here unless you have on a hard hat safety glasses and work boots okay so I was I don't know I was doing because I'm not you know that's a that's the laborers job most of the time to 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 deal with that you know that part of whatever's going on you know the general contractors usually hire laborers to be like gate guards, I guess you can call it. And uh, anyway, this one particular time, the gate guard wasn't there or he didn't notice or something, whatever. And I'm carrying tools or material or something. And then I just look right next to me. I'm like, you know, on the job part of the job where you're supposed to be, you know, have your safety, safety stuff on. And this woman is walking next to me. And I just stopped and I'm just like, I, you know, I was like, what are you doing? And the woman just looks at me. Well, anyway, she, she didn't speak English very well. And I'm like, get off this job site. Unless you're wearing this, get off. And she just looked, you know, that's what it was. Okay, so it was one street. The sidewalk went 
that way, right? But it was roped off from, from right here. So what they wanted you to do was cross the street, take the crosswalk, right? And then walk another, I don't know, 50 feet or something like that and then cross back over again and then can continue down that way. But she looked all baffled and pissed off, you know, whatever. And I'm like, do you want to get hurt? What if something falls on you or comes flying through the air and you don't have a hard hat and safety glasses on? I was like, I said, I literally said, get the fuck off my job site. Like, I, you know, anyway, you know, cause this woman's, she's wearing a, a, a skirt, um, you know, uh, soft shoes, you know, no glasses, not even eyeglasses, and no hard hat. Okay, so um, now you get the drift. The second time, this just happened two, three weeks ago. I was at another job in downtown Seattle and in the Soho district. And, um, Sorry, not Soho. I'm from New York. <laughs> Soto District, right? And for those of you who don't know, Seattle has quite a big homeless problem. And here comes this guy. Uh, wandered on the job site. He walked in through, I don't know where, I don't know how he, he got there. But he was, he was homeless and he was, he was fucked up, right? So I kept my distance and I was like, sir... This is a construction job site. It's a lot of safety hazards, you know, around here. And, um, you know, you're not where you're not supposed to be here, first of all. And second of all, you're not wearing, you know, the proper personal protective equipment. You need to go. And he, you know, of course, <laughs> you know, gives me all this, all this lip. But, you know, just then the security guy showed up. I mean, again, they have to have, they hire, they have security guys on some, on all of these, all of these jobs to keep people out. So, you're probably asked, Shooter, why are you talking about this? What does this have to do with anything? Well, like I said, I'm behind on this whole Ahmad Avery thing. I figured once I first heard about it, I was like, okay, let me sit back. Let me see if any more evidence pops up. So now there's this other video of him walking on the walking on the uh, the job site, looking at the house, walks away empty-handed. Then they try to use that to say that the two guys were justified in shooting him. So if that's you guys' rationale of thinking, I would have been perfectly in my right, legally able to shoot that woman and that homeless man because they walked on the job site and that in what I just talked about. I'll just leave it at that. 